questions 6 through 10. Listen to a conversation between a student and a professor. Hi, Professor Reynolds. Oh, hi, Jeff. I just read your note. You wanted to talk about something? Uh, yeah, just an idea I have. I've been thinking, um, I was reading about what's been going on with those houses on Fox Point. You mean the slide? Yeah, that's right. The paper said a few days ago there was only one house that was affected, but this morning there was another article saying there were lots more houses involved than they previously thought, maybe as many as 15 or 20 homes. A couple of houses have big cracks in the foundation. I read the article, too. It seems like nothing but bad news for the homeowners. Yeah, my old boss lives out there on Fox Point. I don't know if his house is one that's affected. Anyway, I was, um, I was sort of thinking I could write a paper on it. I remember how in your Intro to Geology course we studied gravity movements. I thought maybe um, the slide on Fox Point was a case of subsidence. Um, when the Earth sinks because there's a weakening of support, I was thinking this might be an example of settlement. Settlement happens from the more or less gradual compacting of underlying material. For example, when wet soil at the surface dries and shrinks and creates a depression. It can also happen when frozen ground melts. In class, you talked about the leaning Tower of Pisa. Yes, the settlement that's caused the Tower of Pisa to lean is due to the failure of a clay layer beneath it. Engineers have been working on it for decades, but still haven't been able to stop the process. There was another kind of settlement you talked about. Um, when groundwater is removed. Yes, that's what happened in the San Joaquin Valley in California. Part of the valley floor sank 30 feet because of the removal of groundwater for irrigation. But the problem on Fox Point may not be subsidence at all. This probably has more to do with the slope and with the amount of rain we've been having lately. So it's just a regular old mudslide, not like the Leaning Tower? It's probably not like the Leaning Tower. The article did say the houses were on a slope, but it's only slight. It's not steep at all. Mudslides are most common on intermediate slopes, 27 to 45 degrees, because these slopes are gentle enough for sediment to accumulate and steep enough for sliding. One suggestion I have is to take a look at the county's website. There's a page on the geology of the region. This area has a history of slides. There was one on Johnson Island about 10, 12 years ago. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Maybe there's a connection. Possibly. It's an idea to work on. Well, this gives me a place to start. Thanks, Professor Reynolds. I appreciate your input. Number six. Why does the student go to see the professor? Number seven. What topic is the man mainly interested in? Number eight. Why does the student say this? In class, you talked about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Number 9. According to the professor, where are mudslides most common? Number 10. What will the man probably include in his research?